What up, what up, what up, YouTube? It's your main man, Markel, and I'm back with some real facts. Y'all check in. Okay, I'm really trying to get this girl off my glasses. No cap. No cap! Right, I'm going to take these joints off. So today I want to get into some healthy tips to maintain a good relationship. Keep that proximity close with the man upstairs, you know what I mean? Um, so we're going to dive right in. Let's get into it. Tip numero uno, you want to live in the spirit. What that means is you have to, must, it is imperative that you just lean into the guidance of Holy Spirit, right? I know, I promise you I know. You hear that all the time and you're like, how? We know what Holy Spirit does, we know who he is, but how do we follow him? How do we hear him? How do we abide in God, right? Uh, you may hear this and it sounds cliche, but you just really got to read your word. Why is that important? Because God's word is the only way. Well, one of the main ways, I should say, to understand how he thinks. You get a picture of his character and integrity. And the more you read in it, stay in it, pray over your own life and for God to reveal certain things to you. What starts to happen is in your subconscious mind and your conscious mind over time, the more you read and study, uh, you start to get a sense of what God would be pleased with you doing and what he would not be pleased with you doing. And if living in the spirit is too complex of a thing to grasp, you could just avoid living in the flesh, which by default will help you live in the spirit, right? So flesh, a very religious term for saying, um, Avoid your natural impulses to do things that you know God would not smile upon. <laughs> you know exactly what I mean. Simply put, just avoid living in the flesh and by default, you'll be living in the spirit. That's tip number one. Tip number two, maintain healthy relationships. Maintaining healthy relationships is so, so, so important, right? Because what happens as a Christian, you're still in environments that aren't conducive to your growth in God, right? And that's God's whole thing, right? He wants to save you more and more every day. You know somebody that's maintaining a real relationship with God in a sense that they're not just saying they're a Christian and posting about it. They're taking active steps to pursue Christ every single day, constantly denying themselves and trying to get better. You want to get in close proximity with that person because the facts are the facts. Whoever you spend the most time with, the most time around, you're gonna pick up some tendencies. So you wanna stay around people who are centered or at least trying to do the right thing, at least trying. You know what I'm saying? In a very real way. <laughs> Tip number three, and it's the most important, you got to stay prayed up. You gotta stay prayed up. I promise you that's the most important step. Stay prayed up. We take prayer for granted so much because most of the time our prayers are one-sided, right? It's just like reading off a wish list to God. Um, and if we're honest, our prayers won't affect nobody but us anyway. We're really just praying to make our lives better. That's the tendency anyway, and that's natural. I do the same thing sometimes. I'm trying to break that habit. But as I've grown with God, I started to understand that those things come by default when you really walk out Christianity the way it should be, right? And prayer isn't always on your knees praying. Um, you know, Prayer is a heart posture, so you can do that internally throughout your day, whatever the case may be. But always stay in communication with God. Ask him to <clears throat> answer those tough questions that you have about Christianity. Ask him to keep you surrounded and in close proximity with healthy relationships. And ask him to keep your focus on him. Now, there is a practical side that you yourself have to take up, which is safeguarding what God gives you now, from people, things, the things that you watch and hear and intake, all that. You want to protect the Holy Spirit because he dwells inside of you. So then intake becomes really important, right? Stay in communication with God. He wants you to be the best version of yourself more than you want to, <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's waiting on us. So definitely stay prayed up. That's the most important step. And there's some cold facts for you, right? So if them three things don't help you, it won't nothing help you. So literally practice putting those things into motion. You know, like, comment, share, subscribe. I want to hear from you. I want to get to tough questions so we can communicate and get to know each other better. And again, it's your main Markel. Let's pray this thing out. 
Dear God, we thank you so much for this time together. We understand that you want us to be holy more than we want to be holy. You want to bless us more than we want blessings. It has always been your intent to partner with us, to have your will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. It's always been your intent. We see that in Genesis, and we know that to be true now. So God, we thank you for our time. We ask that you take the things that you share with us today and help us walk those out throughout our week so we can become the person you would need us to be in these troubling times. It's in your perfect son, Jesus' name we pray, amen. We out of here.